I have over a hundred Pornhub membership gift cards I am giving away with new winners picked each day. All you have to do to get yourself entered is to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and most importantly, comment your social security number and Netflix password with the amount of Pornhub gift cards you want. Hello hello hello, what's popping guys, it's Lash here, back at it with another video. I'm flipping out of ideas for Clash Royale content so today, I have another crazy story to tell that happened when I was a kid a long ass time ago, at least 6 or 7 years ago. And even to this day creeps the fuck out of me. Before I get into the story, be sure to like and subscribe and vote in the poll. If you do, you get a free iPhone. Kappa. But without further ado, I'll jump right into the video. So when I was a child I always heard stories people told about how a creepy guy walked up to them, or how they saw a car following them. I've had these creepy things happen a couple times, but the first time it happened, it was absolutely terrifying. Like a legit predator almost kidnapped me. I remember for three months straight, I was scared to walk by myself outside cause every time I would think that some guy would come up and rape me or some shit. But anyways, I'm just going to get into what happened. So a long ass time ago, I was giving my parents some attitude. I wanted to walk to this fast food place and get food with my older brother and his friends. They were both much older than me, and I'm just a little kid trying to tag along with them, they probably didn't even want me there anyways. But my mom was like, hell no. You're way too young, you can't hang out with them. But I was like, no, I'm not too young, I can handle it, let me go. And I just wasn't giving up, I really wanted to go. I don't know why, but I guess little kids like fast food. And somehow my mom actually let me go with them. So we start this walk, get halfway there, and my brother says just wait here and walks into the woods to smoke a cigarette. I was like, no it's we're just standing on the sidewalk, I'm going with you. So I was watching them smoke, and two minutes later I was like, this is boring as hell, I'm going to go walk around this path. So I started walking around, and within minutes I was lost, I had no idea where I was going. Eventually I ended up coming to a main road. And I kid you not, seconds later a car started slowing down in front of me. I see the car and I'm like, I don't know that person. At this point I was getting freaked out. I'm a little fucking kid, I'm by myself, and a pedophile pulls up on me. Instead of running back into the woods, I decided to wait and watch this car pull up. It stops in front of me, and the window rolls down and a guy is in there and says hey what are you doing buddy? And I go, I'm just on a walk with my brother. He's like, your brother where is he? I'm like he is on the other end of the road. He's like, hop and I'll take you there. I was like, fuck no, do you honestly think I'm retarded? He's like, what I'm just going to take you over there. And I'm like, no way. And in my head I'm like, is this guy stupid? Every school an adult tells me to say no to strangers. But I'm just thinking, what if I was retarded and actually said yes, I would be gone forever, this channel probably wouldn't even exist. But anyways it ended like this, he got nervous, I got freaked out, and I started running back into the woods and started yelling. And luckily, my brother and his friend heard me and found me, and luckily I was okay, I didn't get kidnapped. The day after this happened I was getting nightmares every single day. But yeah, probably one of the most scariest moments in my life. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and keep yourself safe. Have a child molesting day.